Let's get to Bob Bassani, see what's moving back here on the floor. Hey, Bob. Well, uh, some trade optimism helping, but we're in the middle of a very powerful cyclical rally, and that is the thing that's really motivating the markets most of all. What do I mean? Banks, new highs, a lot of them. Energy, huh? What's going on there? Three days in a row, energy rally here. Transports rallying as well. And utilities and consumer staples, they're lagging today and on the month. Again, this is a cyclical rally. I complained yesterday, only 10% of the S&P was at new highs with the S&P at new highs. But there's a lot of stocks, a lot of sectors just below new highs. We get another couple percentage point moves. We're going to get breakouts. Some of the big pharma companies, Glaxo, AstraZeneca, Bristol, Myers, Merck, 2, 3, 4% from new highs. That's close enough for me to pay attention. We have a lot of retailers that are out there. The big ones that have moved this year, the discounters, the Walmarts, Ross, Costco, TJX, all just 2 or 3% from new highs. Very, very close to breakouts. The other big break breakout in the, in the retail group, home improvements, Sectors also just below new highs. Stanley's already there. Home Depot, Masco, Sherwin Williams. You see what I mean? You get the market move up just a little bit more, you're going to get uh, 150, 200 stocks in the S&P at new highs. We also see semiconductors. That's a market leader this year, but a lot of the big names there. Uh, Taiwan, Semi, NXP, Micron, LAM Research, all just below new highs. You want to see a Technicians squawking a little bit. Watch the transports. We're on the verge of a breakout. We're just, just shy of a new high here. Maybe 1% from a breakout in the transports. And you get the Dow theorists out talking about the confirmation with the transports and the industrials. Russell 2000 also about 1% from a new high. But everybody last night after the close was messaging me, what's going on with energy stocks? Since the close of October, we've had a notable rally. Big moves up, double digits in exploration of production companies and some of the service names like Schlumberger and Halliburton. Double, this is two and a half days of, of trading. So what's going on here? A lot of speculation, a lot of interesting theories about what's floating around. First off, don't forget, the rally is broadening out, and so this is the most beaten up sector, so it makes sense that they should move up a little bit. We've had a modest oil rally. That's part of this, what, 4 or 5% in the last few days? That's not uh, nothing. We've also seen a cessation, likely, of tax law selling. This was the most beaten up group, a lot of them down 20 or 30%. Some of these firms, ta their season ends in the end of October. There'd be a lot of tax law selling going up. Up into that, that stopped October 31st. That may be uh, taking a little bit of uh, steam away from the sellers. And you may get a little bit of a short squeeze as well. All of this makes some sense for explaining the rally. There may also be some political issues around. Elizabeth Warren, to the extent that her polls go up and down, she's been anti fracking. That may be a factor here. Some other companies have announced uh, capital expenditure cuts as well. The point is pay attention to all of this because when you see a sector like energy stocks start to rally, that's a real sign that the rally is broadening out.